Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames TV Rewind. And in this video, we will be talking about Kim Kardashian getting dragged and labeled a narcissist. Now guys, this is an interview. It's quite a number of years old, but it is still significant today because this clip is showing us that Kim Kardashian hasn't changed one bit she's still the old manipulative egotistic human being that she has always been even if it means that she has to insult her family and she has to shame them she has to you know be pitied she will do whatever it takes to get public attention and sympathy now it's an interview they were asking you know her sisters her brother her mom Chris about their reality TV show and the passing of their dad Rob Kardashian Kim Kardashian said it was so hard but she had to do what she had to do when someone is sick that's what you do because what she's doing in this sense is portraying herself to be this brave strong girl and she took on this entire burden by herself while the rest of her family or her siblings they didn't care if their dad was dying it was all on her this is the image that she is um she was portraying and when chloe intervened to say you know i was there she was like um I don't remember you there and Chloe you know reaffirmed that she was there and she was like well I can't remember that and Rob is like this is what you always do Kimberly Courtney was silent but you can see the disgust of Courtney saying you know what it, it it doesn't even make sense I say something at this point because she's gonna say she wasn't there no we weren't there she was just there by herself but I'm going to play that clip for you guys so you can see for yourself firsthand what I'm talking about. Then I'll get back with the rest of my commentary. How old were you when dad died? 22. You were 22. And how was that last uh, time for you? It's like when someone's sick, you just do what you got to do and take care of them. And I think I handled it really well. I spoke at his funeral. I don't think any of them would have been able to. I was pretty together. I worked in his office. I was so like the I. last one working at his office at that point. I was working there too. At the time he died, I think it was just me. I was there too. Oh, I don't remember, but I don't, because I would always leave to bring him lunch, so I really don't remember that. I thought the last. So, guys, as you can see, Rob Kardashian was there, you know, he was like, You're so full of ish, Kim. Like, why are you doing this on TV? You could see her seeking that sympathy and her fake tears and Chris Jenner looked as though she you know was saying well we don't know if this plan is going to work or not Chris Jenner looked confused she looked as though she was upset Courtney was like this is too painful Chloe was like this sickle right here pretending to be something that she's not like if you were just read into each person's expression each individual expression you can definitely see like at that point they were like you know what we're over this we're over Kim she's just a crazy person and I just can't deal that is the impression that it's given right here now also on Instagram people were like Kim is always you know no one else could handle this you know that is a narcissistic trait that is what people on instagram were saying you know and i honestly support and believe that is exactly who she is until this day we see her doing the same things we see her playing these mind games with the media she's doing it to you west and she's using her kids to manipulate Ye West. If you remember that interview, she was crying, saying that Ye West is a horrible dad, when we all know that that is not the case. Now, guys, this is all I want to share in this video with you guys. It's time for you guys to talk. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you see where it is lining up that Kim Kardashian a few years ago is still the same woman irrespective of so many years being passed? There's still no level of maturity to say, I'm going to cut out this level of narcissism. 
I'm going to treat people like people who do have feelings. I'm going to treat people like how I want to be treated. So I want to hear from you. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and remember, if you haven't subscribed as yet, be sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay sweet, and stay blessed. See you all next time. Bye, guys.